Hello guys, and welcome back. Red Herring 26 here. And, well, if if you remember, last episode we had, uh, we had a bit of trouble making a cow farm. I'll, in, in case you forgot, I'll, I'll show you a little clip of that. Yep. So, we lost all of our stuff. Um, dug that block out right there when we got caught in the water with the cows. Actually, there wasn't water in there. But as you can see, I've gotten that settled out. Got some tools back, got some armor back, covered some of the materials that we lost. Um, but yeah, I, I've now gotten the cows in here. There are 16 in here now. I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm not going to unswitch this lever until these baby cows have grown up. Because I want these to be alive. They're going to be for breeding. Um, yeah. Also, uh, I found another village. There's one off in that direction. <laughs> Instead of, uh, Patch, patching it up like the last one, I did just kind of raid that one. I was having a severe food shortage issue after dying to the cow farm. But I got that settled out. See, um, it happened to have carrots in it, like ours did not. I just uprooted all the carrots and took them with me. We have a few extras put in storage so that if I ever want to farm them, I don't have to worry about that. Let's see. Creepers have gotten harder. Um, it's not just the new combat mechanics either. Their um, AI has changed a little bit. They, uh, I believe they now explode, will explode further from you, but walk up closer to you in order to explode. And there's also something about them actually hiding behind corners. Um, I'm not positive though, so don't take my word for that. Did you did you see that? That zombie just spawned right next to me. Okay. But anyway, on to what we're doing today. Oh, um, actually, I was looking through my footage to see what I lost. I didn't realize this, um last episode, we lost a music disc. Um, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, if you remember, we, um, we managed to get a skeleton to shoot a creeper and kill it, and we got a music disc out of that, but it didn't last long. Yeah, we, uh, we burned that up in the lava. There's no, no easy way of recovering that. But anyway, um, on to what we're going to do this video. Um, I, I want a saddle, and there's no, there's no easy way to get that. Um, I, I'd have to find a dungeon and get kind of lucky. Or, or I go fishing, and that's, that's what we're going to talk about. Because it is possible to make a fully automa automatic AFK fish farm, where all you have to do is hold right click, and all the fishing will be done for you. I've made one before. I might have to make some adjustments because of the version that's a creeper. Um, stay away. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go ahead, get materials gathered up, make sure I know what I'm building. I want to make sure I know. <laughs> I want to make sure I know how to build the fish farm before I start building it with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll go get that figured out, gather my materials, and meet you guys back here. Alright, so here we go. I got all the materials ready, and I'll be showing you how to build it. I'll be putting it right here behind this wall. But uh, before we start that, um, all of the baby cows have grown up here. I've gotten rid of the water. Um, I'd like to show you this farm in action. So, for my situation, I have, um, I have 16 cows in here. Now, 
if you if you don't want to keep close track of that, if you um if when you build this whoa <laughs> they're all looking at me. Anyway, if you want to build this and you don't want to keep close track of the cows like that, you can just keep breeding them and then you take a bunch of wheat and you see how many um how many get bred when you do that. Uh so I have 16 in here. I have 17 wheat here just in order to demonstrate what I'm saying, what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. So if I hold down right click, I want to get rid of these carrots cuz I'll probably end up eating them instead of breeding the cows, but I'll end up with one wheat left. If I didn't know that there were 16 in here, I'd know that I had started out with 17, ended up with one. Do the math, 17 minus 1 equals 16, and you've got you've got how many cows you have. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. You can see it disappearing as we go. It'll cycle through all the cows. Now I only have... Oh. Okay. I'm not sure how many cows are in there in that case. <laughs> but anyway, you, you can take my word for it. That, that method works. But let's see. So I undo this. Pulls all the baby cows in there. We still got our who knows how many cows right here. So here we go. Now you just now you just wait. I'll, um, you wait 20 minutes. It takes 20 minutes for them to grow up. Um, you can reduce that with wheat, but you'd have to make modifications to the system. Um, but yeah, just come back here in 20 minutes. You'll have a bunch of cooked steak and leather in there. Anyway, now that I've explained that, on to the fish farm. So I'm going to go ahead and start digging this out. This is where you're going to stand. You're going to be holding right click with the uh, with the fishing pole in this direction. So first off, I'm going to make the little thing that replenishes broken fishing rods. This is optional. You don't have to do it. It can extend the amount of time you can AFK here for though. So, you basically put one dropper there, one dropper there, a hopper here, fill it up with as many fishing rods as you want, of whatever kind you want, enchanted, not enchanted, doesn't matter, but that'll cycle through. We're going to be connecting this to the same clock that is used on the fish farm, and you'll see why in a moment. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty simple. And we'll also have a lever out here somewhere, I haven't decided exactly where yet, to turn it on and off. Because if um, it's left on all the time, you've got a clock running, you've got a door opening and closing, which can be very noisy. So you want to be able to turn it on and off. There's also the option of a tripwire across here, I decided against that. But it, it is an option, just to let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and dig out this area. And, I'll, yeah, I'll start placing down some of this stuff once I get that done. Alright, time to start building. I got this hollowed out. I'm not exactly sure how much space I need, but this will be more than en enough. So first thing you're going to want to do, place down this chest. This is going to be where all the fish go. They will not go in your inventory. Oh, um, one thing... One thing I suggest is if you have carpet, then you can cover up this hopper with carpet. You'll stay at the same ground level. Uh, whoops. Oh, that's going to be in the hopper. Okay, there we go. No problem. Um, but yeah, this this way, items will still go into the hopper. You don't have to worry about that. This chest is where all your fishing items will go. You want to put a hopper here, so that will snag any items that are being pulled towards you when you're fishing. And as well as you want, solid block here, pressure plate here. You want this to be stone, not wooden, just because this the or uh, just because the wooden one will interfere with the system. The uh, the fishing hook will trigger it, and it will, um, I'm actually not sure if it'll activate any redstone, but, you know, 
we can see. Um, yeah, so you want a block under here. You want a block here and here. I'm actually going to put one here because that's where you need to put tripwire. Let's see. Yeah, that's... Wait. No, what am I talking about? That's not where the tripwire goes. My bad. Okay. The tripwire is going to be up here. You want blocks here and here and behind it. This is where the water goes. Tripwires go up here, right above the water. So what the idea is, um, when you're fishing, the bobber will stay below the tripwire in the water in the water source block. And when no, <laughs> I keep messing this up. I'm sorry. When you're fishing, the the bobber will be right above the source block, and it will be triggering the trip tripwire. Um, so you'll uh, but when you when you go to catch a fish, the bobber will go down. It will come off the tripwire, and that's when you're going to trigger uh, your iron door here to open and let you reel in the fish. Here, I'll demonstrate why you need the iron door like you do. The iron door is there because when you're right-clicking with something, do I have an example? Um, something that requires a right-click. If you're right-clicking on it, It'll right-click on the door, but it won't do the the action that the item needs to you needs to do. That's the same with the fishing pole. But you can uh, when it's open, your cursor won't be on the hitbox of the iron door anymore. It'll go off of it, and your right-click action will be performed. Uh, anyway, on to the little bit of a technical thing. Um, what you're gonna do? with the redstone here is basically what's happening is it's just some timing with the door it's not really anything you need to understand in detail um, so I'm, I'm gonna build that off camera and just make sure you can see exactly where the redstone is okay so is there anything else I need to see right just for the to fit all the redstone in, I was doing some compacting of the redstone. You want this block removed. A repeater is going to go here. Uh, you want your water bucket here. And I don't have a fishing pole, so you'll just have to take my word for it. But you're going to be... Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, don't hold shift. That'll keep the... Uh, that'll keep the right-click action from occurring. See, so I'm... Right clicking on the door. See it's doing something else here. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. I'll go ahead and make the redstone here and I'll meet you guys back when that is finished. All right, so here's the redstone. As you can see, it's pretty compact. Um, what's going on here? Um, actually, so you guys can see all of this. The comparator has to have this torch on. You can change that by right clicking it. This repeater will be on the second setting. See right there? Um, and this will be on the last one. Just like that. Uh, this is actually frozen right now. But it will be doing that. As you can see when there is no fishing hook. So each time that door opens will be a cast and it has to it has to repeat like that so that um, there's enough time for the bobber to settle and to activate the tripwire before um, you cast again. So let's go ahead and see. So this is what it does when the bobber activates activates the tripwire. Then when uh, there's a fish on the hook, we'll do that. It'll open the door, you'll reel in the fish, then you'll automatically cast again. 
the fish will go into this hopper, and thus this chest, and this is where all your items will be collected. Um, as you can see, the tripwire, basically all it does, it disables the clock. Um, so when the bobber's here, the clock is disabled, the door is closed. Simple as that. And what we want to do here is to make um, the fishing line thing. Oh, I, I don't have enough redstone. Let me grab one more. Oh. Okay. Uh. That's not what you want to see when you walk out. Uh, and there's another one. Um, uh, I, I'm not sure what to do here. I've got a bit of a problem. I'll go ahead and shut this off. It's making too much noise. Nope. Uh... I'm not sure what to do here. There's... okay. That's scary. Okay, three hits should take care of him. Maybe not. Uh... <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> All that uh, for one piece of redstone. I need one more piece of redstone. That works. Let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> I need to work on monster-proofing my base quite a bit. But anyway, back to what I was saying. That was a bit of a scare. Is you want this to be running on the same clock. Just like that. So now any items in here actually... Oh, well, you want blocks here. Just take my word for it. So now you see the piece of cobble is cycling through. And let's take that out. So you're going to want fishing rods in here and nothing else. And that way, if a fishing rod breaks while you're farming, you can easily get it, get a new one. It'll be fully automatic. You just have to put something heavy on your keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. Something to take note of is that when you're filling in this block right here, it has to be either a stair or some kind of non-solid block, or else this, um, or else it'll do bad things. It'll break the clock, basically, uh, and you don't want that. That it will be unusable. So you want it to be a stair or some other non-solid block, like glass, you know, something like that. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, I'll have to get some fishing rods, show you how well it works. I'm going to patch this up a bit, make it look nice. Uh, probably want some kind of lighting up here. And then the redstone. Whoops, uh, blocked myself off from the redstone. Don't want to do that quite yet. You want your redstone to be well lit. Uh, monsters spawning in here can be bad, and you just you just don't want that. So make sure make sure your redstone is well lit. Spam it with torches. It doesn't matter how it looks because well you're not supposed to see the redstone. But anyway, uh, what have we got around here? Okay, get out of here, zombie. Oh, hi, hi, uh. Hi, skeleton. And spider. Uh, this is exciting, isn't it? Um, yeah. Okay, zombie. Okay, you're not gonna go and get the uh, skeleton, are you? Let's heal some. There we go. Okay, now that that guy's taken care of, I'll clean that up and make it look nice, and I'll show it to you when that's finished.
All right, I'm back. I went ahead and patched up the fish farm, but before I show you that, um, it's been 20 minutes. So I've got steak. That's perfect. It worked well. Um, thing is, uh, they can breed actually every five minutes, whereas it takes 10 minutes for the baby cows to grow up. Just, you know, keep that in mind. It's, that's good to keep in mind while using the farm. Now, now all of these cows should be able to breed again. I want to find out how many cows I actually have in the farm. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that on camera. Here we go. Go ahead and breed them. Got it counting down. I started with... Oh, uh, how many did I start with? I think I started with 27. Anyway, we'll see. Okay. Actually, I'll have to check the video in order to see how many I had before. I, I, um, I forgot to check. But since I have a video, that'll make things easier. So yeah, it went down to 11 from whatever it was before. I'm going to go ahead and pull these cows into the killing chamber. And now we wait again. Um, I'll go ahead and check the video. See how many cows were. See how many cows decided to eat their wheat. And yeah. Alright, so I checked the video. It turns out we had uh, 29 wheat before. Um, did the math. That's uh, 18 cows. So we have 18 cows in here as opposed to 16. Not entirely sure how that happened, but uh, yeah, that means it'll be slight, ever so slightly more efficient. I'll go ahead and take these running out of carrots anyway. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll put the carrots away, because if I want to farm with them later, then I can. And steak has better saturation, fills up more hunger, hunger points, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, um... You know, actually, I need I need to make a couple fishing poles. Uh, I have sufficient string for that. Uh, whoops. Just like so, except I need more more sticks. Like so. Okay. Um. So what you're gonna do to use the fish farm? I'm going to go ahead and put these fishing poles in here, except for the one I'm going to use. So first off, you're probably going to want to go and change your use your use item um, your use item button to something you can hold down with you know with a heavy object, something like well not space because that's used for something else, something on your number pad maybe. Uh, right shift works because left shift is used for obviously sneaking, but right shift is unassigned, so you can use that. It's a big key. It works um, if you're trying to hold it down with a heavy object. Then you want to uh, obviously you want to activate the farm. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> I changed my key, and that threw me off a little bit. Uh, expect that to happen to you as well. Then you want to fill up your inventory with something other than fishing bowls. That's to keep um, only one active slot in your inventory, whoops, and that will be for, for the fishing poles. That way you won't pick up any extra fishing poles. So what you're going to want to do is click anywhere on the door except for right here, because then, then you'll have the hitbox when it's open anyway. And you just want to start holding down right click, and you'll see that the bobber activates the tripwire. I'm gonna wait here until I catch one fish, just so that you can see what happens. Oh, um, whoops. Uh, okay. Maybe don't do right shift, because I just almost activated, uh, well, it was some kind of sticky key combination. Use something like enter, that'll work. Return and enter is the same thing. So you can hold that down. Wait for wait to catch a fish. Um, I'll fast forward the video. All 
All right, as you saw there. Uh, wait. What was that? Oh, <laughs> we caught a spruce wood. No, we didn't. Um, but anyway, we caught our fish. I'm gonna let that do that one more time because I I thought um oh there we go. Yeah, um, it's not a 100% catch rate, but it's pretty close to it. Um, and as you saw there, we, we reeled in, held down right click, it recast automatically. You know, losing some durability, not a big deal. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and change my controls back. I'm not going to keep doing this for much longer. To stop using the farm, you just leave. You turn it off, because it can be very noisy otherwise, and that gets old really quick. And yeah, so that's going to be it. Um, I've shown you guys all I wanted to show you guys for today. That's our new farm. Um, you can catch some pretty overpowered stuff in it. Like, uh, I, when I was testing it in creative mode, I caught a mending bow. That's... Um, if you don't know, that's new with 1.9. Oh, hello. Um, it's one of the new enchants that you can only find in chests. You can only find it on enchanted books in chests. And apparently, with fishing. I didn't know that until I caught it with my auto fisher. But it can. this can be an incredibly useful device if you just want to leave your game running with some something on um, something weighing down a key and yeah it can be really helpful there are a lot of treasure items that are very overpowered you can get really powerful bows uh, lots of food obviously there's also junk but I mean just throw that away, uh, that away no big deal you can get enchanted books all kinds of really good stuff so I recommend building this in your own world it's it's one of my um, one of my favorite redstone contraptions. I make it in almost every world I plan to play in for a long period of time. But yeah, um, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time and have a good day. Goodbye.